I think there is a case to be made that like this could be number one. This mm-hmm. is up there. Um, I just just given because I, I want to set the stage here. Okay. This was so oh. the, the, the game is game three of the Flyers Capital Series in 2016. But to me, the reason why this has a case to be number one is because this is the first home game after Ed Snyder passes away. This is supposed to be when the players are giving everything they have to win one for Ed. Like I'm talking like win one for win one for the Gipper kind of shit. And instead, not only do they lose, the entirety of the building shits on itself in the most embarrassing way yeah. possible. Like this was just a, this was a like, honestly, like kind of a shame to be a Flyers fan type of game. Yeah. Yeah. No. And that's the thing is it starts. There's the moment of silence for Ed Snyder. There's the uh, bracelet light show, the pregame thing. It's a big deal. It was very cool to look at. And <laughs> yeah, then it was like, cool the, at the, the, the emotion, the emotion in the building is palpable. It's intense. It's playoff hockey. Flyers come in down 2-0. It's like, let's just fucking get one, man. Like, let's get one. And they start the game right. Michael Raffle scores 57 seconds in. It's like, yes, this is the one. They are properly motivated. They have the right intensity to at least not embarrass themselves in a playoff series that especially after um, Sean Couturier gets injured, it's like, well, what are we going to do? Like that was our, there's our equalizer right there. Maybe he can somehow be physical enough to shut down Alex Ovechkin. Well, no, Alex Ovechkin throws him into the boards. He separates his shoulder. We lose Coots. It's like, all right, now we have no chance. But can we just, can we just come on? And like, like lo- lose in five, but win this game. Yeah. 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 Instead, after Raffle makes it one nothing in the opening minute, the Caps score six unanswered. <laughs> And all hell breaks loose. Those bracelets that made for a really nice pregame ceremony and light show became projectiles uh, to the point where Lou Nolan had to come over the PA and say, like, hey, we're going to get penalized. Stop yeah, doing knock that. It off. And then when people continued to do it, he dropped the uh, classic stay classy Philly line. Um, it was Ovi and Simmer, like, begging the crowd to stop yeah. it. Yeah. There, there's, yeah. There's that iconic picture of o- Ovechkin and Wayne Simmons both having their hands up, like Come screaming on. at the fans to stop yeah. throwing bracelets. But, but, and, but again, like, and, and I, I don't want this to turn into like a shaming the fans thing. No. While they look, fans should not have pelted don't do the that. guys with bracelets. However, yeah, yeah. they would not have done it had the Flyers not shit on themselves and yeah. lost in the Snyder game six to one. Like, yeah. I don't know. Don't do that. Yeah. Like, Again, don't throw things on the ice. That's don't ever bad. do it. Ever. Um, but it's not e- it was the perfect storm. Like, it's just one of those things. Like, is it good? No. But sometimes mob mentality, like people been drinking a little, probably pregame the game. They were really jacked up for this one. It's Flyers playoff hockey. It's Ed Snyder. It's all that. And then they just get crushed by six unanswered goals. It, it was a perfect storm of, hey, they handed me this thing that now has no value to me. Uh, I'm going to throw it on the ice. And it was just, it, that's exactly what happened. It's It was a bummer all around. And it is one of the, I, I, like every single one of these games, we're like, oh yeah, that's a low point. Like it, it's one of the ways we got here. Like it's yeah. where we are now. Uh, it's not one to one, but this is one of the factors of yeah. This is why the fan base is where it is. This is why the organization is where it is. Like this game, this series, this season, it's way up there. Yeah, I mean, like I, this is not ever going to be number one for me for obvious reasons. Um, but Charlie makes a good point. Like, kind of like globally, societally, this <laughs> might have been like the lowest point as a Flyers fan in very recent history. Um, So, yeah, I mean, I get the point. It was definitely, I wasn't there. I was, I was watching this one on TV and even, even watching from home, it was like, oh, 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 stop it. Like, it was just like, (laughs) it was bad. It was really bad. It it was, it was everyone embarrassed themselves here. Yes. Like I'm not, I'm not going to, to stick this just on the fans. The players embarrass themselves just as much. No, like this, not to just absolve the fans, but. You could have avoided this, 
by just yeah. not sucking. Like, even if you lose, like, maybe some people exactly. throw some shit at the end, like, after the game's over. But if you lose this game 3-2 in overtime, it's not, like, a mutiny of the fans. It's like, right. ah, well, you know, Ovechkin scored eight minutes in overtime. It is what it is. He's the greatest goal scorer ever. We were never going to win this series. But, like, this is... Oh, yeah, man, we were we were red hot for 57 seconds, and then that was that. <laughs> like, well, thank you. 